I've built a couple of grunge text effects for Final Cut and this one is called Erosion and I want to go over some of the parameters here everything down to the background rectangle colorizer deals with the appearance of the text the text itself is basically in paragraph format and the uh, outline for the paragraph is the title safe zone of the video. You can use the text panel to change the font, the alignment, vertical alignment, all that stuff. The title panel is basically for creating this decayed classic grunge look. And the main controls that you use for the amount of grunginess are the threshold and erode more. Uh, you can turn on and off the threshold and create kind of this different look. The threshold will actually knock holes in the text so that it's transparent depending on the luma depth here. So if I change the luma depth to something a little bit more in the mid-range these regions here become less transparent changes the effect a little bit and you see if you go all the way to white you have plain text and you can animate these aspects of this particular effect to make it have that decayed look in real time it just goes from plain text to just faded out. This Luma Depth 2 has to do with an internal working of the control that works with cellular size. I think. Yes. So you can basically turn off that segment of the internal workings of it if you turn this to white and increase it if you turn it to black or go somewhere in the middle depending on taste uh, let me turn that off for a minute let me turn off threshold for a minute do you see these line concentrations here well that has to do with the the refraction control and the caustic size and you can manipulate these to create different accents in the way that this decays you can click and drag on the caustic size number to make it larger if you want to but most of the good settings are going to be within the slider drag and the refraction size is the maximum that's nailed at 600. Uh, this cellular control adds dabs and the smaller it is makes it look like flakes. these controls here from horizontal scale down to the layer strengths just add like bigger patches of masking or not masking whatever it's all for randomizing the look of the overall effect Then there's the text colorizer. Now I decided to use a gradient for this because you can add in sections of other colors as you please. You 
can change the angles of the divisions with the angle control. There's a drop shadow down here. I like to use the scale parameters to create this kind of 3D leaning back kind of look. Uh, scale the Y down, widen up the X a little bit. You can move it off in the distance and change the angle to make it more apparent. Down at the bottom is the background rectangle if you want it. It's by default set with the opacity of zero, so basically turned off. So let's go back up here, turn the threshold back on. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll catch you on the next one.